typical me fashion, I'm running a little bit late, but I'm heading up to a viewpoint to watch the sunrise uh, with a temple in the foreground. The sun hasn't risen yet, but it's, it's like it's rising, as you can tell. But I've got 10 minutes until. sunrises I was running a little bit late admittedly um, but I didn't even think about the fact that the before the sun actually rises the whole sky goes orange so as I was driving the whole sky behind me was on fire it was all orange I could see the mountain on from the road with the orange behind it I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't capture that like I should have got here a little bit earlier that was honestly breathtaking that was insane you can see the temple I'm going to next from here just like poking out the clouds, I'm gonna get some more photos of that in a minute. But honestly, that was a gorgeous sunrise. Melt. Viewpoint done, that was an incredible sunrise. But yeah, we're now gonna go head down to the temple before the sun gets too high. Um, there's also apparently meant to be a uh, thunderstorm at like 11. Uh, it's like it's half six in the morning right now, so we're fine. Um, but I would like to try and get back to the hostel before the thunderstorms. But when I was driving here, you can't see it, but there's a mountain behind here. When I was driving here on the moped, um, I could see lightning happening behind the mountain, which was like, oh no, but it's fine. We didn't catch it yet, touch wood. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead to the temple now, so see you in a minute. just had the worst iced coffee of my entire life. There were still bits of little powder. I, put, I made a TikTok, I put it on the screen now. There's still little bits of powder in it. That was awful. This is the worst iced coffee I've ever had. But this old Indonesian woman made it for me and she's so sweet. There's still bits of instant coffee powder in it FFS. Help. However, I'm now at the temple. Well, I'm at like the main parking entrance bit. So we're gonna go in now, figure out the way in. My lens is all dirty, I need to clean it. All right, so we're now in the temple itself. I've, I've now filmed on every fucking camera I've got for this, except for my drone. I'm also not allowed to get, I managed to sneak my drone in. I'm not allowed to drone in here. Um, I'm not allowed to fly it. They asked if I had one. And I saw someone before uh, like before me in the queue, they took it off them and like kept it behind in like a screw box, which I don't want to do. So I was like, no, I haven't got it. Open up the other part of my bag so they couldn't see it, so it's fine. But look how gorgeous this place is. Annoyingly, there is massive tours going on. There are these massive tours going on right now. So I'm trying to get to the temple before the one behind me gets there, but there's, I can now see that there's a lot of people there. So, see what we can do. I've got, I've got, I've got plenty of time, I can wait around. The one thing that I'm kind of gutted about is that normally you can get up on top of the temple and you can take photos within all the pillars and all the, all the architecture. And right now you can't eat said. I think it's A, COVID, you can't go up there and I'm pretty sure there's restoration work going on right now. Um, this is a U, Uniseco, I think that's how you say it, um, World Heritage Site. So, 
restoration work is obviously very oh my god restoration work is also very important so it's fair enough it's just kind of annoying like i want to go up there but it is what it is i just want to see the temple this is this is i think it's the largest buddhist temple in indonesia Vietnam, when I was there a few years back in Indonesia, it's happening a lot the last week. Um, people always want photos of you or with you. And I've Googled it before. It's something to do with the fact that I don't see Caucasian people very much. So it's like a novelty, I guess, to take a photo with them. It's a bit weird, don't take offense to it. If you don't want it to happen, just say no. Um, it's really, really bizarre. Right now I'm getting so many looks from people around me because I'm filming on the fucking camera. And people keep asking me what my name is, so I think they think I'm like famous or some shit, or probably think that I think that I probably that I think I'm famous, but you know. But either way, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna try and go the other way to the tours. The tours seem to be going around to the right. I'm gonna try and go to the left. Um, see if I can get some quiet spots to get some photos. Yeah, let's go. But something to know, obviously I did the sunrise up in the viewpoint so I could see the temple in the photos, because that's the photos I wanted. You can, if you want to, you can do sunrise here. And when it was open, obviously as I said earlier, it's not open now, so you can't get on top of the temple. Because normally there's these, the staircase in the middle of each side, you go up to the top and get photos up there. You can pay extra, I don't know how much extra it is, and go on top for sunrise. I don't think particularly many people do it. The only reason I know that is because I read a blog post about this temple and they did it and they got some banger photos. But for the photography I wanted to do, I wanted to do it from the hill. It is bloody hot i was i was mopeding this morning um wearing my jumper on the moped i was shivering cold now i'm sweating It's been raining, I don't know if we're gonna get much for sunset, which is why I actually came here for. But we're now at Pran uh, Pranabam, yeah, Pranabam Temple, um, which is the Hindu temple. The one we're at this morning is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Um, this one is the largest Hindu temple in Indonesia. The largest um, Hindu temple in the world, which would be this, this is the second is Angkor Wat in Cambodia, which I've actually been. I didn't actually realize at the time of being there that that was the largest Hindu temple in the world. So that's where we're at right now. Should have a wander around really, get some snaps. Hopefully we don't get too hassled this time. Um, there's a lot less people here right now. As you can see, the weather is not the best. It's just been raining for like the last half an hour. I was gonna go back to the hotel and come back tomorrow, but then the rain cleared up. And I thought, you know what? We're just gonna commit. We're here now, let's do it. So let's give a look. I jinxed it, I'm already getting hounded by the ones behind me. We keep asking for photos, I keep saying no. And then another group asks for photos. It's very annoying, actually. It's just more, I don't know, it's like, because they like, they just shove the camera in your face and then they look at you like you just stepped on their cat. If you say no to the photo. And it's like, oh, just leave me be. Leave me be a tourist. I don't want to be a celebrity. I'm not a fucking celebrity. These temples stun me. That is gorgeous up there. I was talking to them on the tour guide a minute ago and all this, what looks like rubble here is literally rubble. This was all temples that were like miniature parts of the temple that was all built up around it. And then during an earthquake, I can't when he said it was, they found this at the late 1800s, like in ruin or beginning, oh no, early 1800s in, in ruin. Um, basically because there was an earthquake and the whole thing basically collapsed. So they had to rebuild it. And because the Dutch colonized parts of Indonesia, or they came down and, I don't know what the right word is, if it's colonized, invaded, or they just kind of rocked up and like took over a little bit. Um, they tried to rebuild it, but they had absolutely no idea what they were doing, how to rebuild it. And it's actually really interesting, because if you, as you're walking around, if you look, you can see 
bits where just the wrong piece is quite clearly there, where they've just put it in wrong. Um, so they started the project, then never completed it, and then the Indonesian government took over once Indonesia was um, became free and became its own independent state, free from Dutch or any other influence. Um, the Indonesian government started a project to rebuild it. They had they had no pictures or drawings to go by, but they knew how it went together because each piece fits in. It's like a big, massive jigsaw puzzle. So it's taken them, this apparently took them 100 years to rebuild what you can see behind me now. Um, he said there's 219 temples on this complex. I don't know if that's all the ones here, or if it's these ones and more elsewhere out in the, um, in the area. But um, yeah, apparently they're still, out of all the 219, I think he said, they've built, they've rebuilt 21 of them. That took 100 years alone. So the amount of history in this place is insane. I honestly, I love Indonesia. I forgot how much I loved it. It's crazy. Filming this now is potentially, we'll see what the outcome is. But I was gonna do the last, there's three more temples, there's little temples, Buddhist temples at the end to do, which I didn't actually know were here. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll do them as well. The main, what I came for was the Hindu temple. It got to the first one and there was a fun, uh, thunder in the distance. The wind picked up, started to see specks of rain. And my gut was like, nah, get, go. I've got a feeling it's gonna fucking downpour. So I'm off. I'm heading straight for the bike because it's still like brightish in the distance of the direction of the city. That way it looks mean. So I'm, I'm getting out of here. Let's go. I'm now back at the hostel, but it's rainy outside. I've been here about 20 minutes and it started raining about five minutes ago. So, I'm not, I'm, I'm just too good. I'm too good. Yo, so it is a few weeks later, you will be told about a haircut and we're in a completely different place. I just never actually recorded an outro for this vlog. I'm actually in the an empty dorm room on my current hostel in Changu because I didn't know where to record, that was quiet. So there's just basically a real quick outro to say thank you for watching the video. That was a hell of a sunrise mission to go see that viewpoint and then see the temples themselves. Luke Palm shoutouts on the screen now. Don't forget, don't. Dude. Luke Palm shout outs on the screen now. I have not seen these yet, I have not picked them yet. I'll pick them when I sit down and edit. However, I am sure they are absolute bangers. Don't forget to use hashtag Luke Palm on Instagram to get featured at the end of these videos and also weekly on in sort of weekly on Instagram on my stories. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow along the journey, like it if you did enjoy it, it massively helps me out and push it out to other people. All the other stuff that YouTube is to do. Don't forget to take the shot. I feel like I haven't actually said that in a while, so don't forget to take the shot. I will see you in the next video. The next vlog is a banger. I already know what one it is. Enjoy it. Peace.